Welcome everyone. In this video, we learn how to get a user's information, their ID, their account type, user name, and the number of posts that they have made on Instagram. And we do this by using the access token that we retrieved in the last video I created. If you do not know how to get the access token, check out the last video and then come back here. When we get the user's information, we're going to display it on our website and that's going to look something like this. We are going to head over to my website, hit the Instagram basic display API. What we have done here is we have used the long lived access token, which we obtained in my last video to get the user's information. Right here, we have the raw response from Instagram, which gives us an ID, username, media account, and account type. And below, we have displayed those out in HTML. Before we start coding, hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video. That way, I can keep bringing you guys more videos. Let's get into the code. We're going to start out by adding our access token. We're going to update the uh, class so we can instantiate it with an access token. This way, when, you, when we instantiate our class right here, it's going to ignore our git code because we don't have one. We're just saying, hey, we have an access token already. We're going to hop over to our Instagram class. In the constructor function, this is where we're passing in those params. And again, we're heading over to the set user Instagram access token function. In here, we want to first check if we are passing in an access token. Then we will check for the git code. If we have an access token, we don't have to do anything. We just have to set our class variable, this user access token, to the access token we passed in. We don't have to hit Instagram and try to generate it at all. We also have to tell our class that we have the access token. Once we have our access token set, we can then create our get user info function. If we head back to the index page, we are going to update this to display the user's information out. Once we have set up our get user function, it will return ourselves the raw data, which we're going to just print out right here so we can see what's coming back. And then we're going to display the username. We're going to display the Instagram ID, the media account, and the account type of the user. Now all we have to do is create our get user function in our Instagram class. And like the other functions we've been creating, we need to pass in some params and then we have to call our make API call function. The endpoint for getting users information is the graph base URL, which is graph.instagram.com. The endpoint is me. Type is get and the URL parameters, we need to pass in some fields. This is the fields we want to retrieve for the user. And it's a string of comma separated fields. We have requested the four things like I was just echoing out, the ID, the username, the media account, and the account type. That way when we make our API call, we will get back the four requested fields and they will be displayed out on the front end right here. Now we can hit our website and see how our code worked. Looks like we got our information back. We got our username, our ID, our media account, and our account type. However, we are missing our um, raw data section right here. So let's go back to the code real quick and see what we missed. So we're getting the user, how'd you get user? These are all displaying correctly. So there is a problem right here in the printing out of our 
user information. Um, oh, we're missing a question mark. There we go. <laughs> I guess I don't even know how to open a PHP tag. All right, let's head back over to the browser and refresh our page. That was it. A missing question mark done the job. Now we got our raw array right here, which is the response we have from Instagram. ID, username, media account, account type. And right here, we're just marking it up with some HTML. And that is how we get users information with an access token through the Instagram basic display API. In the next video, we are going to be grabbing onto the user's media. In my case here, I have a media count of 152 media posts. So we're going to be looking at how to get each of those posts and the details on each of those posts. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video, comment, let me know what you want to see coded next. I'll catch you later.